But what's the important thing about being independent is I can do something that members of the two parties can't, which is talk to both sides, bridge the partisan divide, actually bring forth solutions that uh, the individual parties are preventing their members from doing. So I could actually be a catalyst for getting things done, which neither one of the other candidates could actually claim to do. Miley Foster, Colorado Independent Candidate for House District 18. Thank you so much That's for right. joining mm -hmm. me. Thank you. Glad to be here. Uh, Colorado Springs. Mm -hmm. You come from a business background. Yes. Mm -hmm. IBM executive. You deal with uh, bootstrap uh, mentalities throughout mm -hmm. your, your life and, and business and, and just getting things off the ground. Mm -hmm. uh, financial planner. Yes. Small businesses uh, you, you've been involved with also. So you've got a business background. I'm guessing that economics and business are part of your platform. Well, I would think so, yes. <laughs> and also, it's something that that's always fascinated me. So yeah. as a financial planner, a lot of people aren't fascinated by spreadsheets and analysis. And I, I find it hard. I'm really glad that you are. <laughs> so tell me about the makeup of House District 18, uh, historically Republican, Democrat, third party. Is it historically mm -hmm. independent? What are you dealing with? Well, the county that we're in is kind of historically conservative. The area that House District 18 is, is maybe the exception to that rule, really? where it covers a broad array of socioeconomic uh, population. It includes a town called Manitou Springs, which is a cute little mountain town up the side of the mountain, and then the downtown area of Colorado Springs, and then east to uh, some of the suburbs where a lot of hardworking uh, middle class people live. So. Mansions on the hill behind gates to everyday people. Crammed in apartments with yes, hardworking mm -hmm. folks. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So was it easier for you to crack this egg and say, you know, I have a viable opportunity here. This is why. Was it difficult for you? Because some candidates are like, oh, man, I'm pushing a Buick up a hill with this. What was it like for you? Well, what's exciting about my district is 38.6% of the registered voters in that district are unaffiliated. And, and I think that's the highest number it's ever been. And so it really indicates a trend where more and more people are disillusioned with the two-party system. And uh, because they've already unaffiliated, uh, then that means they're much more likely to be open mm -hmm. to an independent. And that's what I've found when I've been knocking on doors, too. What are the big uh, issues coming out of your district, and what made you decide to to take on these issues for the people? Uh, well, there's a long list of issues, and so it's kind of interesting when I do knock on doors, I hear quite a variety of things, but pretty much uh, universally, it's concern about K through 12 education, yeah. the public mm -hmm. education funding, uh, concerns about affordable uh, health care, uh, concerns about infrastructure, those are kind of the big ones. I'm hearing that theme in Colorado. Yes, and then in our, in Colorado Springs, quite frequently I get asked about other ancillary issues, but I think those are the core issues that statewide everybody's concerned about. And especially now this time of year with school starting and all the, you know, getting kids set for school has really brought that to top of mind. So, and you had asked, the second part of that question I think was, why did I yeah, decide what, to do this? What made you, <laughs> what was the tipping point for you? Well, I think for me, uh, it, the motivation to get involved in something different and to try to uh, make a difference happened after the 2016 election, where I felt like that was a culmination of the uh, what could go wrong with the two-party system. And then also seeing for actually decades the struggles in Colorado, trying to get uh, uh, big issues solved and addressed that have dragged on for years and years and years. And so I was really kind of the catalyst was that election. So I was already kind of open to the idea of doing something different, getting involved somehow. And what's the status of, of your campaign? So uh, there's been some polling that was done uh, kind of mid July after the primaries right. that indicated that I was with a head-to-head uh, -head with just one opponent with the Democrat that I was leading, probably within the margin of error, so neck and neck, which was really quite positive and, and motivating. And then if it was a three-way race, I was way ahead. Great. Way ahead. 
your opponent, what are you, what are you facing? Well, somebody who maybe has a little bit more name recognition uh, because of uh, he's been uh, involved in Manitou Springs city politics for okay. a while. Yeah, right. uh, and then also the big thing you're facing is that the Democratic Party, which is, he is a representative of, is really worried about me. And, hmm. uh, and so that means that I'm getting lots of pushback from people who have been loyal Democrats. And when I knock on doors, I find people who have been both Democrats and Republicans are very open to the independents. But then later, when I talk to people, follow up, if, oh, they've gotten pressure from their, you know, the Lady Dems or some other organizations that support the Dems. And so, right. But I haven't seen that from the Republican side. It's been, I think, what I really face more is on the Democratic side. Yeah. Anything else? Well, you I think, think the important the the important thing about my campaign is that I am running as an independent, and and what all that means. It, and maybe uh, people don't quite get. And so, what's the important thing about being independent is I can do something that members of the two parties can't, which is talk to both sides, bridge the partisan divide, actually bring forth solutions that uh, the individual parties are preventing their members from doing. So I could actually be a catalyst for getting things done, which neither one of the other candidates could actually claim to do. I am a small business owner, single mom, everyday person. Grandmother. Grandmother. and. Uh, and so many people know me and relate to me as that, but they also know me as somebody who's been involved in the community and uh, has really behind the scenes been serving the community on, with nonprofits and, mm -hmm. and with the Rotary Club and that kind of thing. Rotarians, great people. <laughs> and, so, and the truth is that uh, this particular district is prime to elect an independent because uh, uh, you know, the makeup of the district and the way things have been going. So I'm really enthused, get positive feedback, and we're going to keep going. Good. We'll keep on going. Miley Foster, Colorado Independent Candidate for House District yes. 18. Thank you. Thank you.